Superintendent Marcus Chambers and school board members Linda Ivanchak and Tim Bryant. Joining us tonight in celebrating the success of our 2023 senior class. We have a few announcements before the ceremony begins. Graduates may pick up their diplomas at the west side of the stadium at the visitor's gate as they leave this evening. Spectators are asked to please stay in the stands during the ceremony. Guests will be allowed to congratulate our graduates at the conclusion of the ceremony. 
please stand for the class of 2023.
At this time, we ask that you remain standing and remove any headwear as we honor the America with the posting of colors by the Baker High School JROTC, playing of the national anthem and Pledge of Allegiance, led by Senior Harrison Sharp. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Won't you guys join me in prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for getting us to the place we are today. Thank you for your hand of protection over each one of us. Thank you for our teachers and our other administrators who have constantly poured into us over the past 12 years. Thank you for our parents who have supported us and encouraged us. Thank you for guiding us and giving us the wisdom to make hard decisions that have come our way. We pray that you will continue to watch over us in this next chapter of our lives. Lead, guide, and direct us in every season that comes our way. 
Help us have a desire to pursue you above all things. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome students, families, friends, and faculty to celebrate the graduating class of 2023. Although we would like to say we made it with no help, that wouldn't be true. If it wasn't for all the dedicated teachers, parents, and guardians, tonight wouldn't have been possible for us. Growing up and going to a school in a place like Baker is an experience that only the people who went here could understand. There will never be another school you could go to that you will feel more welcomed and wanted by all the teachers and staff. Even though not all of us have been roaming through the halls of Baker together since kindergarten, we have now made it to the end goal together as one class. While we sit here and think about all the memories we have made at Baker School, we would like to recognize the people who have helped make this night possible for us. The road to graduating is not a smooth one, and while everyone in the seats in front of me knows that, the parents in the stands know that as well. With that being said, if you are a parent or guardian of a graduate tonight, would you please stand and be recognized for supporting us throughout the long, bumpy road? Thank you for your constant support. You may now be seated. We would also like to recognize the people who work nonstop to make sure we get the best and most enjoyable experience while at Baker School. If you are a teacher or staff member, would you please stand and be recognized for all the hard work you do on and off the scene. Thank you. You may now be seated. If you are currently serving or have served in the United States military, would you please stand and be recognized for your dedication and protection of our country? Thank you for your service. You may now be seated. If you are a member or past member of law enforcement or a first responder, would you please stand and be recognized for putting your life on the line every day so we don't have to. Your commitment to everyone around you does not go unnoticed. Thank you. You may now be seated. Along with many who are serving and have served the United States military, we would also like to recognize the graduates who plan on serving our country. If you are currently planning on joining any branch of the United States military, would you please stand? Thank you. You may now be seated. In closing, I want to extend my heartfelt congratulations to all the graduates on this momentous occasion. Your hard work and dedication has paid off, and you should be proud of your achievements. As you go forth into the world, remember the lessons you learned here and use them to guide you on your journey. May you find success in all your endeavors and may your future be filled with joy, fulfillment, and purpose. Thank you once again for joining us today and let's celebrate this milestone together. Congratulations. First off, I'd like to take a moment to recognize my fellow graduates. If you are graduating tonight and have earned either an academic or athletic scholarship, please stand at this time. Congrats, you may now be seated. Along with academic accomplishments, athletic accomplishments are produced through several hours of practice and dedication. With that being said, I'd like to acknowledge our athletic programs that have created outstanding resumes this year. Starting with volleyball, the Lady Gators won their 20th straight district championship and went on to 
went on to be the state runner-up. Our boys cross-country team qualified to run at regionals and our girls placed fourth overall at regionals. For track and field, girls placed second overall at regionals and boys 4x1 and 4x4 both qualified for state. On top of that, four of our seniors individually qualified for state. The Baker cheer team placed third in the Battle of the Breeze and second in the Red Nose Raider competition. Our golf team went to regionals for the second time in school history. The Raider and drill teams for JR2C went to state and the marksmanship team was the regional runner-up. For weightlifting, the boys won the fifth straight district championship and finished ninth in state and had a senior state champion along with two senior runner-ups. The girls took home the district title in both traditional and Olympic competitions and our graduating class had a state champion. For band, the marching band earned all superiors throughout the competitions and both concert and corps earned some too. Congratulations to all of you. To all those who came out tonight to support this class, we thank you for being such a big part of our lives and the big reason why we walk across this stage tonight. With all that being said, congratulations to the class of 2023. I am honored to be one of the people that gets to welcome our friends and family to Baker High School's 2023 graduation ceremony. Tonight we are here to celebrate a momentous occasion in, the life, in my life and the life of my peers. We are taking our final steps as high school students and with those final steps, we will continue on the paths that diverge from one another. None of this would be possible without the support of the people around us. So I would like to acknowledge the people that have helped me throughout my high school career. Thank you to the admin and staff that have helped keep the school functioning. Thank you to Guidance, who has answered the excessive amount of questions that I've come to them with. Thank you to the leadership classes, who have helped liven up the hallways with decorations as well as set up prom. Thank you to all the people that have cared about me. Thank you to my language arts teacher for the past few years, who also happens to be my cousin, Mary. She has not only made me better at English, but she has also made me a better person. Thank you to my sister-in-laws, Jessica and Lauren, who have been there for me for practically my whole life. Thank you to my parents for supporting me and pushing me hard no matter what. And finally, thank you to my older brothers, Austin and David. They are my biggest motivations. When I was little, I looked up to both of them. Everything that they did, I wanted to do too. I learned to ride a bike because they could. I learned to swim because they could. I learned to whistle because they could. I am standing up here giving this speech because I was determined to do something that they did not. And I am grateful that they motivated me to strive for what I wanted. To the class of 2023, we as a class have experienced many highs and lows. The class of 2023 is the last class to go through high school before, during, and after COVID, which also means that this is the last time you have to hear about it in a speech. Uncertainty is the word that comes to mind when I think about COVID. We were uncertain about what the world would look like going forward. How would we interact with our community? How could we continue to pursue our interests when everything has been put on pause? How could we possibly be safe coming to school? Uncertain of the state of the world, we had to adapt. We learned how to do all the activities we enjoyed while still adhering to the guidelines that were set in place. Life went on and we became more resilient. Our plans for the future were not stopped, but instead rearranged. We found different paths for trying to accomplish the goals that we set for ourselves. The unknown has always been something that has caused me great anxiety. When I started Baker in the sixth grade, I was terrified. I was entering into this new environment where I had no friends. I even got lost on my first day going to my PE class. My older brother Austin, who was a senior at the time, walked by me in the hallway and I looked at him with hope in my heart and when I asked him for help, he kept walking. Can you believe that? I mean, I was flabbergasted that he would just abandon me like that. His little brother. So in that moment of betrayal, I was faced with a choice. I could either stew in this treachery or take it as, a, or take it as an opportunity to put myself out there. And I chose to embrace this occasion with the utmost confidence, or what I like to call frantically running around looking for someone to help me. Like a guardian angel, Coach V appeared. He saved me and he brought me to the hallway that we were supposed to be meeting at in the first place. 
At the time of this event, it felt like the worst possible thing that could have happened to me. But now, six years later, I look at this moment from a new perspective and see that there is something to be learned. That fear and monster of uncertainty is a vehicle for prog progress. Whether it be navigating COVID or the start of a horrendous middle school career, every opportunity that we have to reach outside of our shelves is important to take. Those are the chances that we have grown into individuals that we can be proud of. The world is full of so many possibilities for each and every one of us to develop into better people and defeat the unknown. Ask that stranger for guidance, invite the person to be your friend, help someone when they're down. Always take the path that leads to improvement of not only yourself, but of those surrounding you. That is what I believe to be the key to having a life that you look back on with fondness. As I finish this year and this speech, I'll leave you with a quote from one of my favorite pieces of media, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. You are alive and you stand up and see the lights on the buildings and everything that makes you wonder, and you're listening to that song and the drive of the people who you love most in the world, and in this moment, I swear, we are infinite. As a class of 2023, the gathering of souls that have fought innumerable, unprecedented battles, we know all too well the value of cherishing the fleeting moments leading towards the unknown. We are capable of endless possibilities, and it is that truth that I wish for my peers to remember as they move on from these buildings, this song, these people, and this moment. Oh, it's me. Here we are. We finally made it to the moment we've waited for our whole childhood. I remember when I was in pre-K living in Weewa, our class walked together and crossed over a bridge which represented moving on to kindergarten. I can't help but think of that moment now as we cross over another bridge in our lives into adulthood. It's exciting but sad to know this is the last time the class of 2023 will be together. The last time we can look back on the memories Baker School gave us and the last time we walk off this field as a Baker Gator. What I remember most about this school is all the friendships made. I remember my first friend I met at Baker on the first day of fifth grade in PE, Jan. I remember me and Whitney doing a photo shoot with cheese sticks at the Gator in middle school, thinking we were so cool, but we were not so cool. Just this year, our volleyball team made it to state championship and we put a mark on our little town or all the fun bus rides to softball games, that is, until the bus breaks down. I also remember during Odyssey at the Mine when our group made creative outfits out of trash bags and thinking how we could all become designers. We were also fortunate to have some great teachers here at Baker who challenged us in and out of the classroom, loved us as their own, and offered great advice. Coach Carlisle always tells us to keep smiling through it all when things get tough. And my personal favorite was Coach Armstrong's words of wisdom. You can marry more money in five minutes than you can make in a lifetime. He was kind of like getting a fortune cookie. You never know what he's going to say. Baker, you are a special little town. You are more than your one traffic light, more than Friday night football, and more than greater cafes ranch dressing. If you know, you know. You are tradition, support, celebrations, and school pride all wrapped up into one big family. And family is forever. To our families, thank you for supporting us through the years. And as we leave this here, as we leave here tonight, remember, if you ever feel homesick, just come on back, stop in to the Gator, grab a milkshake, and catch a football game. Baker will be waiting for you. Good evening, I'll try and make this short. Faith in God gives us confidence in our future. Knowing our lives are in his hands, we can go boldly down the path he sets before us. Family brings us joy, comfort, and encouragement. To all our family and friends who have and will continue to love and support us, we thank you. Once a Gator, always a Gator. The faculty and staff at Baker provides an excellent education while making this school a home away from home. Thank you all. You are amazing. And now as we walk across this stage to receive our diplomas, we must remember faith, family, Gators, the foundation of our success.
And after we receive our diplomas, as Chief Nunley and Colonel Ramirez have always told me, we don't have to go home, but we can't stay here. At this time, if I could have our athletic director, Matt Brunson, come to the stage. While, and our dignitaries, please join me on stage. Just a short message to our seniors. Seniors, just a couple of days ago at our senior awards, I gave you four steps. Four steps that I wanted to remind you that whatever you want to achieve in life, this will get you there. The first one, have a goal. It's easy to set a goal. Whatever it may be in your life, set a goal. Second, define the process to achieve the goal. That is, whatever you may be, there is a process to achieve that goal. The next one is the toughest one, if you'll remember. Find the discipline to stick to the process. That is the toughest. And lastly, don't let your circumstances get in the way of achieving your goal. When our soon-to-be graduates leave here tonight, they'll not only represent their families, they will represent Baker School. And I am so very proud to call this group of graduates Baker Gators. And now, seniors, what you've all been waiting for, the symbol of your high school success. As a proud Breaker graduate of 1987, I am honored at this time to introduce to you the class of 2023, Mr. Hunter Joshua Allen. Juliana J.B. Arnold. Allison Marie Baggett. <laughs> Chloe Grace Barrow. Ethan Wade Edson. Kaylin Denise Ellis. William Otis Emero. Mr. Eli O. Griffith. Janella said, Elisha Jordan. <laughs> Michelle Elizabeth Kennedy. Grace Elaine Kimball.
Kelvin Laura. Miley Marie Marcotte. Tucker J. Martin. Stephen Christopher Mason. Ashton Ross May. Garrett Carter McClendon. Aiden Wesley Morrison. Caden Zachary O'Brick. Christian E. Oglesby. Brandy Michaela Palmer. Anna Marie Price. Harrison Esperanza Sharp. Hannah Lynn Skipper. Jolie Ann Sloan. Emily Jean Walker. Whitney May Walker. Sarah Ann Shay Williams. Alyssa Ann Ainsworth. Mackenzie Taylor Allen. Aaron May Anderson. Nathaniel Cole Angel. Brayshawn Jaquel Baker. Justin Logan Barbary. Andrea Shea Barnhill. Emily Dallas Barnhill. Peyton Shea Barnhill. Hayden Hunter Robert Babalitz.
Jenna Grace Danae Beck. Ashton Alexander Barnhard. Brooklyn Ann Barnhard. Shauna Lee Blackwell. Treasure Kiana Bonds. Tessa Nicole Borchel. Brady Alexander Bright. Celeste Kristen Kennedy. Alexander Ray Carlos. Nicholas Isaac Childs. Dalton Lee Cotton. Sean Matthew Denton. Yordi Clara Dominguez. Kaylee Renee Drain. Mason Michael Dunn. Aaron Connor Edwards. Isabella Rain Enders. Brianna Marie Ferrara. Andrew Wuyat Lee Francis. Lee Freeman. Colton Lyman Gilly. Carter Barton Glenn. Olivia Danielle Gets. Lillian Anita Graves. Paige Marie Griffith. Alexis Caitlin Rochelle Gross. Devin Nathaniel Guy. William Briar Harkins. Lastly, Rhiannon Harp. Clayton Lynn Harpster.
Lauren Sonny Hendricks. Trinity Cheyenne Hooker. Nathan Sean Jones. Emily Grace Lemke. Connor Matthew Malari. Grace Elizabeth Martin. Damien Xavier Martinez. Maddox Deja Martinez. Hannah Nicole McDonald. Clint Ellison Merritt. Kirsten Danielle Miller. Jim Thomas Miller. Jim Thomas Mitchell. Layton Ashley Mitchell. Fisher Garrett Morrison. Joshua Zachariah Marek. Autumn Rain Nader. Jesse James Nance. Mackenzie Page. Nelson Brenna Nicole Nesbitt Dustin Ryan Nixon Cassidy Lee Orman Levi Mason Parker. <laughs> Bailey Renee Pitts. <laughs> Kaylee Brooke Podpan. Madison Danielle Price. James Christopher Ragel. Davis Harold Roderick. Austin Tyler Ryman. Noah Alexander Sailor. Joseph Christopher Settles.
Shauna Terry Shobe. Austin Tyler Simpler. Lena Brooke Smith. Riley Jordan Smith. Blake Andrew Starcher. Kevin James Stokes. Lawson Emery Sullivan. Kanan Riley Ames Sullivan Caudill. Caleb Tucker Swanson. Caden River Thompson. Sarah Lane Thompson. Skyler James Tinson. Jace Hampton Talbert. Jacob Eugene Wagner. Caleb John Lawrence Wagner. Colton Jesse Weekly. Michael Allen Wells. Tristan Lane Wilkes. Jeremy Ethan Williams. Hope Wright. And Gregory Sean Young. Not yet, not yet. The turning of the tassel is a tradition steeped in symbolism. The turning of the tassel represents the turning of age in the story of life, the ending of one chapter and the beginning of another. It also represents the close of one door and the opening of many others. Our commencement ceremony is complete after the turning of the tassel. Baker Seniors, please rise. Seniors, turning your tassel from right to left. Ladies and gentlemen, by the power vested in me by the state of Florida 
and the Okaloosa County School Board, I present to you the 2023 graduates of Baker School.